guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, my name is Femke and in today's video I have a new nail art design for you guys which is totally inspired by the beach and shells and just holiday summer vacation mood. Since I do have a week off of work now recording this voiceover, I was actually really into doing something beach-like. Since I live really close to the beach as well, I was like let's just use some real like small shells and just put it all together in one nail art using regular nail polishes as well. But yeah, if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate it if you would like to subscribe, hit that notification bell as well, and become a part of my little nail family here at YouTube. But let's just quit the rambling, grab your own nail supplies and paint your nails together with me and let's go into the design and the tutorial. And as usual, if you have any questions or comments, comments do let me know in the comment section down below i love you so so much and i hope to see you in my next video as well so let's get into this tutorial but first i have applied a base and two coats of the base color first which is something that i would really recommend to do maybe even the night before or a couple of hours before you're going to do this design just to make sure that your base is completely dry before going into the other colors so i used the dior base code which is one of my favorites at the moment and i went in with two coats of a new high gloss vegan nail polish from my like local drugstore they actually came out with nine beautiful colors so if you would like to see me do like a swatch and review video on those definitely let me know i know they're not available worldwide but I do know that you can get them here in the Netherlands as well as in Belgium but I am going to use a blue polish by Essie as well this one is super gorgeous it is from the Midsummer 2021 collection there will be a full on swatch and review video on these I have already recorded it and it's just waiting for me to edit and upload I am going to make like the beach itself because we have already applied that lovely nude color as the sand now i'm going to use the blue on the tips of my nails as the sea or water however you want to call it so it is a little bit of like a more dark blue color it isn't like a perfect sky blue because i feel like most seas and oceans and stuff like that are a little bit more dark at least where i'm from <laughs> so i'm just going to really randomly do some french manicure cures um, it doesn't have to be super precise you can just switch it a little bit on and off between every finger as well i think that looks really cute and really natural too it's just like the waves crashing in onto the beach so not every single wave is the same as well so you can definitely just play around with it be a little sloppy as well like that's no big deal because we are going to use a little bit of white polish to actually create a little foamy kind of border in between the nude sand kind of color and the blue wave color as well but you will see that in a little bit but as i mentioned you can just really be sloppy it doesn't have to be perfect just do your thing wing it go with the flow because i usually do so during my designs anyways of course i did have like in my mind what i wanted it to look like like kind of so just go with it wing it and i'm sure it will turn out really nice so just let that dry for a couple of minutes before going in with the next polish i wanted to add a little bit more depth a little bit more oomph and i'm just loving the new collection by nailed it i have purchased that entire collection my Myself. it was so worth the money and yes there will also be a full on swatch and review video on that collection too it contains six beautiful flaky polishes and they're actually quite opaque i was really surprised by that but i will leave all of the extra information on those in my upcoming video as well not to give you like big spoilers already but i'm just going to top off the blue tips with this beautiful flaky polish because there is a lot of color and a lot of depth in the sea and ocean as well and i just felt like i needed a little sparkle in life and i really think that this polish is just perfect for that just top off the blue you can apply like as much or as little as you want to 
you can definitely use another like blue glitter as well maybe even a loose glitter just mix it up with a little bit of clear polish or a top coat and just splash it on there uh, once again you don't have to be super precise but just make sure that if you are going to use a flaky polish like i'm doing in this particular design make sure that all of the flakies um, don't peek off of the edges of your nails because it just gives a more flush look if everything is inside Inside the borders of the nail plate you know so yeah that's just a little tip I wanted to give you guys if there are some little like flaky pieces peeking out just gently push them back with your finger and you're good to go but before going in with the white polish which is one by holotaco by the way i'm actually really starting to like it more and more for nail art details like i'm doing in this particular video it is quite nice for that but across the entire nail mm, i'm not a big fan but just let it sit for a little bit before going in with this white because you don't want to smudge your previous applied layer and i'm going to take a piece of a kitchen sponge as you can see it is really textured it is perfect for the look that I am creating you could use any type of sponge in my opinion just make sure it isn't a super big piece and just apply a little bit of that white polish on there and just sponge on the edge of the blue and the like sand like color to really make the foamy like crashing in waves effect i think it's really cute you could even add a little bit of like the white onto the sand color because sometimes there's like sea foam everywhere on the beach and not even super close to the edge of the water so yeah i think you can really play around with this a lot and just have fun you know there are no rules to nail art and at the end of the day if you don't like the design or you want to switch it up or anything like that you can just easily remove it with some nail polish remover and yeah you're pretty much good to go but you want to do this for each and every single one of the nails i haven't recorded all of the fingernails because this video shouldn't be like 20 minutes long it's actually a quite fast easy breezy simple design to do so yeah i just cut out a little bit of footage and i'm into cleaning the rest of the nails for now because if you have sponged a little on and you haven't used any protection barrier like a liquid latex or something like that just use a little brush or even a q-tip with some nail polish remover and just remove the excess white polish that has gotten onto the skin you know the deal just clean up the edges of your nails to get a really flush and just perfectly manicured end result i really love to use this little angled brush which is actually an eyeshadow or not an eyeshadow an eyebrow brush to really define your brows but i never do so because you know i have really light brows so if i do fill them in they are like really really in my face <laughs> so yeah i really love to use the most random makeup brushes for nail art as well oh and i did get some real shells from one of my like nearby beaches or especially the one that i used to go to a lot when i was a kid i got the most tiny shells and that is what you will definitely need because these were already quite big and i already have quite long nails but i am going to use a top coat by catrice to actually adhere these on um, just make sure that you apply a good layer to really like settle and press in those shells and just sea urchins and anything you want to put on your nails to be honest you could also go with like some fake shells like the gold or silver ones that you can get at most nail art supply stores or even online at aliexpress or something like that just make sure you have a good layer of top coat to really press those shells into and just let it sit for i'd say 10 minutes before the top coat is completely dry because if you will be moving your hand a lot especially on the thumb where i have just applied this gorgeous shell by the way i really love it if you're going to move around a lot the shell will move as well and maybe even fall off before your top coat is completely dry maybe even ruining the base layer design that you have just applied but yeah i'm just going to apply top coat for the or to the rest of the nails as well 
eventually I was like, I'm just going to place one of those little like sea urchin thingies to the middle finger. But after applying that and looking at it, I was like, I have another little like different shell and I might even do that on my other fingernail as well. So I just decided as I was doing this video and design just to add a little more because you can just add as much or as little as you want to. If you feel like I don't want to add any shells, be my guest. You can totally skip that part. Just apply the top coat on the sea and beach kind of design that you just created and call it a day. I have worn this design for I think it was like two days or something like that before I felt like okay I want to switch it up do another video or just apply another nail polish but something that I really love to share with you guys is if you are looking for a more durable kind of wear time or application of these additional shell sea urchins and so on I would definitely recommend to maybe even use a gel top coat because that is stuck like a rock you know um, or maybe even use some nail glue but personally i'm not a big fan of combining natural nails and nail glue to stick on bigger like accessories like this or embellishments but it's of course totally up to you just make sure that if you're going to remove it and you have used any glue use some good like um, nail polish remover i would prefer to say use a nail polish remover with acetone because that really like tears away the glue without damaging your nails but yeah this was actually the entire design already definitely let me know what you think i think it is super holiday proof summer proof it is fun to do you don't have to be like super neat you can be a little sloppy as well but thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video